Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing absolutely well. So guys, in today's video, we are going to uh, do some previous year questions of Deloitte NLA exam. And this is going to be very helpful for the 2025 batch because uh, soon Deloitte NLA exam is going to happen. And in that, you know, one of the sections is computer fundamental questions. So in this video, we are going to practice a lot of previously asked computer fundamental questions, which is going to improve your knowledge so that you can appear these questions in a better way in the exams because you know practice is the key and guys let me know uh, if you want videos on any specific topic related to this exam or any other exam in general i will bring the video on that too and let me know your uh, views on this video in the comment section and before starting the video if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any important updates from the channel also i have created a video on complete recruitment process of deloitte nla for pressure 2025 batch if you haven't checked that make sure to check that too okay so let's start with the first question uh, what does cpu stand for so the options are central programming unit central processing unit computer processing unit and central power unit so the correct answer or out of these is option number two or b which is central processing unit okay central processing unit so uh, cpu is the primary unit of the memory uh, primary unit of a computer that executes instruction inside a computer let's move on to the next one which of the following is not a valid data type in most programming languages the options that we have are integer string char and fraction so the correct answer is option number four which is fraction okay so fraction is not a standard data type in programming languages and uh, the other are uh, the common data types which is like integer string and character moving on to the next question now what is a key feature of a object oriented programming so oops or object oriented programming have some key principles or key features and we have to find out uh, which of these is a key feature of it so the options that we have are encapsulation polynomial polynomial decomposition code encryption static typing so the answer for this is option a encapsulation okay let's move on to the next question now the next is what is the primary function of the operating system so the options that we have are running software applications managing hardware and software resources writing data to the hard drive connecting to the internet the answer is option number two which is managing hardware and software resources so guys if you are finding this video helpful and if you feel that it is going to helpful for you in the preparation make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive these kinds of regular videos and let me know your thoughts in the comment section Moving on to the next question now, which of the following is an example of external memory device? The options that we have are CPU, RAM, hard disk and cache. So the answer for this is hard disk. Okay, because hard disk is an external memory, rest all are internal memory types. So moving on to the next one now. In SQL or SQL, which statement is used to remove data from the table? The options that we have are remove, delete, drop and truncate so the statement which is used for deleting the data or removing the data it is delete so delete is the keyword or the statement moving on to the next one which of the following is the type of machine language the options that we have are assembly language python binary code and c++ so rest all are what uh, programming languages uh, like python and c++ are um, programming languages assembly language is the assembly language so the machine language is binary code okay so binary code is a machine language machine language basically consists of binary codes that a computer can understand which is in zeros and ones moving on to the next question in programming what is a variable let's see the options a fixed memory address a memory location that holds a value a type of function a, fun a keyword for object oriented programming the answer for this is a memory uh, location that holds a value okay let's move on to the next question now which what does acronym url stands for okay so basically we have to tell the uh, full form of url let's first read the options available to us first option is universal resource locator next is uniform resource locator third is unified resource locator fourth is unique resource locator so the answer for this question is 
i'll write out the i'll, I'll write down the answer if you also know it please uh, write it in the comment okay before checking the final answer so the connect answer is uniform resource locator okay and guys i would suggest you that before checking the final answer uh, that i say in the video try to pause in between think of it and if you feel that this answer can be right then check the answer okay because that will in improve your muscle memory let's move on to the next question now which of the following is not an input device let's see the options keyboard mouse printer scanner okay so as we all know printer is an output device and rest are the input device let's move on to the next question now what does http protocol do so the options that we have are provides email services encrypts data for secure communication transfer hypertext web pages over the internet connects devices to a local network the answer for this is uh, it transfers hypertext okay so basically http if you are not aware http stands for hypertext transfer protocol it is the protocol that is used for transferring web pages on the internet so the answer correct answer is uh, transfer hypertext let's move on to the next question now which of the following is a cloud storage provider the options that we have are google drive excel wordpress photoshop and this is very easy and we all know that the correct answer is google drive so google drive is a very uh, popular and known cloud storage storage provider moving on to the next one which of the following is an example of a relational database management system the options that we have are mongodb mysql cassandra and firebase so the correct answer is mysql so mysql is a relational database management system that stores data in forms of tables with predefined schemas moving on to the next question now which of the following programming language is considered as a high level programming language the options that we have are assembly language machine language python or binary so the correct answer for this question is python so python is a high level programming language which means it is user friendly and abstracted from machine code moving on to the next question now what is the primary function of alu so alu which is uh, the full form of which is arithmetic logic unit the options that we have are perform input and output operations perform logical and arithmetic operation control data flow manage memory the correct answer for this is perform logical and arithmetic operations so because you know sometimes just by looking at the terms in the question only you can understand the or you can estimate the answers so arithmetic is already coming in the question itself so uh, like alu is responsible for performing arithmetic and logical operation arithmetic as in uh, like addition subtraction uh, multiplication and uh, not multiplication addition and subtraction i would say and for uh, logical i would say and and or so you understand right and and or which is in programming so let's move on to the next question now which of the following is an example of system software the options that we have are microsoft word excel windows operating system and google chrome the correct answer for this is windows operating system let's move on to the next question now what is the main difference between a stack and a queue data structure so you know you can also expect questions from dsa or d normal data structures also so let's see the options that we have so we are asked the difference between stack and queue okay so stack uses last in first out queue uses fifo okay before we look into the options let me explain you what is a stack and what is queue so in stack the day da uh, the data goes in the, like this okay first this uh, entry will be filled okay then next will be filled then this will be filled and how we will pop out the data again in this fashion so uh, if the input is a b and c the output is going to be c b and a okay on the other this was about a stack and if you are not aware about queue in queue the data enters in this way like uh, a will enter then b will enter then c will enter so entering in this way and then popping also in this way only okay so a will be removed b will be removed c will be removed so stack uses last in first out let's see if this is correct uh, stack uses last in which means c was the last one which was in and c is the first one which is out so this is correct the first part is correct q uses first in first out so first input was a and the first output also is a so this is also correct so we can say that the first option is only which we have seen is correct okay but uh, you know in exams don't do like this that you know the first option if you are feeling that it is correct so you will not check the other options only sometimes this is a trick uh, you might feel that the first option is correct but the first option is actually not correct so always read the remaining options also 
so let's read the remaining options stack uses fifo fifo is totally wrong because you know first in first out is always q so stack cannot be a q right so option 3 is stack uses a linear structure q uses a circular structure no in q we do not have any circular structure q is also a linear structure both uses lifo that is also not possible both are different one is lifo and other is fifo so now we are very obvious that the correct answer is option number 1 which is uh, stack uses lifo q uses fifo moving on to the next question what does ip stand for in the networking the options that we have are internet protocol international protocol internet packet and the fourth option is internal process the correct answer is internet protocol let's move on to the next question now which of the following is a type of malware so we have different options okay and we have to tell out of these which is a uh, malware so options are trojan server firewall cloud so the correct answer is option number a which is trojan okay now guys if you so far if you are feeling that uh, this video is helpful for you and if you want more such content please write it down in the comment section or if you want videos on any specific topic let me know i will bring videos for that also and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please take a moment and subscribe to the channel and like the video let's move on to the next question now what is the function of the control unit in a cpu the options that we have are perform arithmetic operations fetch and decode instruction store data temporarily execute program instructions so the correct answer for this is fetch and decode okay fetch and decode instruction is the process of a cpu let's move on to the next question now what is the full form of bios by the options that we have for this question are uh, basic integrated operating system second option is basic input output system third option is binary input output system fourth option is binary interfacing operating system so the correct answer for this question is option number b which is basic input output system so bios if you are not aware in bios is a firmware that initializes hardware during booting and providing runtime services for the operating systems let's move on to the next question now what does the term bit represents okay so the options that we have is a group of characters a binary digit that is 0 or 1 a byte collection of memory addresses so the correct answer is bit okay so bit you must have also heard 0 or 1 0 is 0 or 1 is usually represented with the term bit uh in programming a bit is the smallest unit of data in a computer representing either 0 or 1 so in our case the correct answer is uh, a binary digit which is 0 or 1 let's move on to the next question now which of the following is used for permanent data storage the options that we have are ram cache hard drive or register so hard drive and register so we all know ram is like temporary memory cache is also temporary memory and register can also not store permanently data so the correct answer in this case is hard drive okay so hard drive is the permanent data storage moving on to the next question which of the following is a widely used algorithm for sorting so the options that we have is mos sort quick sort bubble sort and all of the above the uh, out of these uh, the correct answer is all of the above okay because all these algorithms are used for sorting only next option next question that we have is which of the following is an example of gui based operating system gui just in case if you are not uh, aware graphical user interface the full form of gui is graphical user interface so which of the following is an example of gui based operating system the options that we have is ms dos linux windows and unix and we all know that windows provides gui based operating system because others we have to others are like more like command based okay next question is which protocol is used to securely send emails okay so the correct answer for this is uh, smtp pop3 imap ssl or tls uh, uh protocol so the correct answer is simple mail trans uh, transfer protocol or smtp as we say so the correct answer is option number 1 let's move on to the next question what is the purpose of a compiler so the options that we have are uh, to execute code to convert high level code into machine code to debug the code to manage a uh, memory allocation so the correct answer for this is to convert high level code into machine code okay the purpose of compiler is to convert high level code into machine code basically compiler translate high level programming code into machine level uh, code for execution moving on to the next question what does gui stands for uh, in the context of 
program operating system so just two questions back only i mentioned gui stands for graphical user interface so you can read all the options and the correct answer out of this is graphical user interface uh, guys now i have two questions which are diy or like you have to do it yourself i am not going to tell you the answers of these questions what you have to do is you have to tell the answer of these two questions in the comment box and i will reply if you are correct or not now guys don't think that you know uh, all are watching this video so why i should only comment guys like if you are preparing sincerely uh, and you are watching the video for own for your own sake make sure that you comment it even though don't watch the answers of other candidates i will reply to your comment if it is correct or not so like be honest in that and comment it so the question is what is an example of web based application the options that we have are microsoft word photoshop gmail microsoft excel the next question that you have for diy is uh, which device is primarily used to connect multiple devices in a network the options that we have are switch router hub or modem the correct answer you have to comment down in the comment section below you have understood all the questions that we have covered in this video and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section i can clear all your doubts and if you want more such videos please comment down i will bring more such preparation videos for all of you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please make sure to do so and that's all for today's video and keep on keep subscribe to the channel so that you can you don't miss any important updates from the channel that's all for today's video thanks for watching the video